How's it going guys? Noah from Kicking the Rest TV here with another video and you guys know what it is. It's the recap over my tournament on West Point Lake March 28th this past Saturday and I'm pretty much going to go through the baits, the rod and reel combos and how we did. How we did, um, we finished 7th out of 49 boats so it was pretty decent. Um, we ended up qualifying for state. We qualified for state championship on Lake Hartwell and that um, if you get in the top two in that tournament, that qualifies you for the Nationals the next year. We already qualified for Nationals this year, which is our second year in the row. Um, we qualified at Lake Martin. We got 13th out of 217 boats. So that was a really good turnout. Um, and I can't wait for that, guys. I'm going to be doing a lot of vlogs and stuff for that tournament. So stay tuned for a lot of videos. And that's going to be this summer. That's going to be in July. So let's go ahead and start off with the baits and rod and reel combos. Um, the first bait, and it was the most productive bait this tournament, caught a lot of fish. I caught around nine or ten just on this bait um this is the wobblehead by kicking their bass baits this is the one that um i i made and i've been selling um right now i don't have an online store at the moment i haven't really released the company full force yet so if you if you guys are interested in any of these right after this video i'm actually delivering some to um, one of my customers you can just pay through paypal as of right now um so i have a half ounce wobblehead right here this one's in green pumpkin and this is watermelon red is a rage tail crawl really great bait a lot of action um i really prefer even over a shaky head and jig um at some points if they're really finicky so the reel i'm using for this one is a revo mgx by abu garcia this is my top of the line reel guys i really love this thing i have many of them and um, it just casts great feels great lasts a long time i've had mine forever haven't had any problems haven't really had to clean them much i'm just really great reel in general this is a legend extreme by synchro rods um, really great rod. This is a medium heavy. Um, I didn't want to go heavy on this one, so I'm going to have a little more tip, a little more accuracy on the bait. Um, for, for my jig, this is by Chattahoochee Jigs, and this is just a uh, green pumpkin with blue swirl. Um, really great jig. These are the best jigs on the market, guys. Um, I use them in every single tournament. I always have one tie on the boat, and I always seem to catch fish. It's a really good bait. Um, pretty much year round, I always have it on the boat. And the reel is a Revo MG Extreme by Abu Garcia. Really great reel. This is the upper hand end of the regular MGX. Um, and the rod is a Legend Extreme by St. Croix Rods. And this is on a heavy action rod. Um, these are the best. My favorite rods are the Legend Extremes. And if you're a little, if it's a little out of your price range, they also have other ones like Mojo Bass, um, the Triumphs the legend tournaments which we have tons of just like this one right here this is a legend tournament um so this is the third and final bait fish head spin by swarm and hornet lures this is the original fish head spin um with the reactions innovations little dipper on the back has a lot of action guys this bait is so good i can't stress it enough um i have the past three tournaments this is pretty much what i caught fish on this and the jig and also the wobble head um just all three really great baits year round always have them on the boat always seem to catch fish um, but I will have a video on this and my wobble head and also some of the Chattahoochee jigs on my channel soon. Um, probably coming up this summer, I'm going to make a lot of tutorial vids for you guys um, going over the baits on how to fish them most productively to catch good fish. And the reel is a Revo Premier by Abu Garcia. This is also a really great reel. This one's actually really, really smooth and it's a little under the MGX and um, the quality's still really nice. Um, this one is a legend tournament, like I said, by Synchro Rods. This is on a medium heavy power rod. You're going to want a um, little bit of backbone for the fish head spin hook in. And um, a little quick tip while I'm already talking to you guys, I'm sure once I come out with the video, I'll tell you guys this. But hook set sideways on the fish head spin. If you hook set up, just how the hook is, it's going to turn sideways. You're going to want to hook set to the side so it goes directly in the fish's mouth. That's a little tip. Um, I said that because most of you guys are commenting, why are you hook setting like that to the side? Da, da, da. Hook set it kind of like a crankbait. Um, you don't want to hook set up, it's just going to pull it out of the fish's mouth. And so your percentages on hook setting it sideways and up is way better to the side. Um, that's just a little quick tip. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know what you think about these, these videos. I'm going to be posting around three videos a week. Um, I'm going to try to get a lot of content out to you guys if you guys are liking them. And you guys are really motivating me with the comments, likes, um, shares everything and everything on my Instagram blowing up, Facebook blowing up, YouTube's blowing up. Everything's just blowing up. It's really motivating me to make more videos. So if you guys are liking these videos, give it a like, please. It really supports me and keeps me motivated. Leave a comment what you think. And if you have any questions over my wobble head, the Chattahoochee jigs, fish head spin, leave a comment, guys. Anything I can do to help you, I will. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.